now the topic before us is your money your choice understanding demand and time deposits we go to the bank and deposit our money with the banks now the question arises why do we deposit our money with the banks we may be earning some interest on our deposits if we keep it with the banks otherwise also if we are having our money in the form of physical notes or coins then there are also the chances of theft so it is proper for us to keep only few money with us at our house and deposit the balance with the banks broadly the banks offer two types of deposits one is demand deposits and the other is time deposits now we will understand what is the difference between demand deposits and time deposits each of these deposits have its own features and we should choose the deposit where we should park our funds on the basis of our requirements first we will discuss demand deposits as the name suggests demand when we demand the bank will return the money back to us we have deposited the money with the bank and if we need the amount now we will go to the bank and will ask for the ask for back of the paying back the amount which we have deposited with the bank these are demand deposits so what is written demand deposits are those that can be withdrawn at any time without notice or with minimum notice depending on the bank's policies and the type of account because there are large number of commercial banks in each and every country there may be some minor difference in the type of accounts or the term and conditions of the accounts broadly the demand deposits are of two types saving account and current account suppose we go to the bank and we have say deposited 1 million dollar with the bank and we go to the bank and say that pay me in cash now the bank will immediately pay you if you are having saving saving or current account but it may be possible that they may not be having cash at the relevant time they will ask for some time 30 minutes one hour so that they can arrange funds so these are the demand deposits where you can withdraw your money at any time without notice or with minimal notice so now first of all saving account saving account is meant for individual customers if we are a shopkeeper or a businessman where we have to deposit our amount with the bank off and on many times in a day or withdraw money many times in a day then saving account is not for them it is for individual customer where there may be some restriction on the number of transactions in a month when we deposit our money with this bank in our saving account we earn some interest on our deposit 
the interest which we earn on the saving account is less as compared to fixed deposit or recurring deposit. Saving account is very liquid. Liquid means we can withdraw our money at any time without notice. Next is current account. Current account is primarily meant for businessmen. If we are a proprietor or a proprietor partnership firm or we are running a trust or there is an association of persons or there is a public or private company or big or small organizations, all these types of organizations or firms have to open current account with the bank. Why? Because there is no restriction on the number of transactions which they can do on any day with the bank. That is, they can go to the bank any number of times in a day to withdraw or deposit money. Generally, no interest is paid by the bank in respect of the amount which is lying in the current account. Rather, the banks may charge some service charges from the customer for the maintenance of the current accounts. Next is time deposits. As the name suggests, here the money is parked with the banks for some specified period. Time deposits are also known as term deposits or certificate of deposit. Time deposits are those that are locked in for a certain period of time. In the case of demand deposits, we were in a position to withdraw our money at any time without notice or with a minimal notice to the bank. But in the case of time deposits, we park our funds with the bank for a specified period, which we opt at the opening of the account. The interest which we earn from the bank on our deposits is somewhat higher as compared to demand deposits. We can broadly classify our time deposits into two types. First is recurring deposit and the other is fixed deposit. First, we will understand recurring deposit. As the name suggests, re recurring, recurring means reoccurring. Reoccurring, uh, recurring in the recurring deposits means that we have to deposit some fixed amount each month for a specified period. It may be possible that we deposit hundred dollars per month for say one year. So far as Indian banking system is concerned, the minimum period for a recurring deposit is 6 months and the maximum period for which an RD account, recurring deposit account can be operated, opened is 10 years. That is if we opt for $100 per month maximum we can operate our account or we can deposit this amount per month maximum for 10 years. After that, your account will be closed and you will be paid whatever you have earned or whatever you have deposited. Your principal amount plus your interest will be given back to you. Now the question arises, what is the minimum amount which a customer can deposit in his recurring deposit. That is, what is the minimum amount which we can opt 
while opening a recurring deposit whether there is any limit it varies from bank to bank naturally the private banks are established with the main motive of earning profit so naturally H, uh, private banks in the case of private banks the minimum deposit amount in respect of recurring deposit is somewhat on the higher side and in the case of public sector banks where the main motive is welfare of the general public and not to earn maximum profit is on the low side that is in the case of public sector banks the minimum amount for which a recurring deposit account can be opened is somewhat on the lower side we take for example in the case of state bank of india we can deposit rupees 100 per month in a recurring deposit account minimum amount and in the case of another we take another example in the case of hdfc bank minimum amount which can be deposited in our recurring deposit is 1000 rupees the main purpose of an opening a recurring deposit amount is to save money on a regular basis why we deposit money on a regular basis sometime we may have a long term goal that is we may have to incur expenses on the higher education of our child then we start thinking in advance five or ten years in advance that we will require money after five or ten years then we should start depositing some fixed amount every month it may be possible that we are having a dream to purchase our house say after five or ten years we will start op depositing some money every month in the shape of recurring deposit or we may have to incur expenses on the marriage of our child say after 10 or 15 years even in that case we may think of opening of our a recurring deposit in some bank next is fixed deposit it is also a type of time deposit as the name suggests here a lump sum amount is deposited in the bank say we deposited one thousand dollars in the bank one time pay a, a deposit we deposit it for say two years now the question arises whether we can withdraw money from recurring deposit or fixed deposit if the circumstances come that we have to meet some emergency expenses there is a health issue in the family and we are have deposited money in recurring deposit or we have having an fd with a fd with the bank fixed deposit yes you can withdraw your money even in the case of recurring and fixed deposit but in the case of both whether it is recurring or uh, fixed deposit the bank will charge a penalty from you though the it is the normal procedure over uh, the terms and condition may vary from bank to bank however they will charge penalty from you or they may reduce the interest which is lying into your credit and they may close the recurring deposit or fixed deposit account and pay you the interest as the system will calculate computer system will calculate because all the terms and conditions are already fed into the computer system in the case of Indian banking system, the minimum period for a fixed deposit is seven days. Here you can see that a certain amount is put in. This amount earns interest at a fixed rate of interest. Here, if we say deposit $1,000 and the banks are giving, say, 
सेवन परसेंट इंटरेस्ट पर एन एम एंड सपोज आफ्टर ए फ्यू डेज द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इंक्रीजेस और डिक्रीजेस बट द बैंक विल गिव यू ओनली दिस अमाउंट दो द इंटरेस्ट में डिक्रीज टू सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव और इंक्रीज टू सेवन पॉइंट फाइव आफ्टर फ्यू डेज द बैंक विल नाइदर डिक्रीज नोर इंक्रीज द इंटरेस्ट ऑन यूर फिक्स डिपोजिट दे विल पे यू द इंटरेस्ट एज ऑलरेडी प्रोमिस्ड बाय दम इंटरेस्ट इज अर्न टिल द डेट ऑफ मच्योरिटी एंड वेन यूर अकाउंट हैज मच्योर्ड से यू हैव डिपोजिटेड यूर मनी फॉर टू ईयर्स एंड आफ्टर द कंप्लीशन ऑफ टू ईयर्स वॉट एवर अमाउंट विच यू हैड डिपोजिटेड एंड द इंटरेस्ट विच हैज बीन अर्न बाई यू द टोटल ऑफ बोथ विल बी गिवन बैक टू यू द मैक्सिमम पीरियड फॉर ए फिक्स डिपोजिट अकाउंट इज नॉर्मली टेन ईयर्स द इंटरेस्ट विच वी अर्न ऑन द फिक्स फिक्स डिपोजिट इज सम वट मोर एज कंपेयर टू सेविंग अकाउंट बिकॉज हेयर द मनी इज लॉकड इन फॉर ए सर्टन पीरियड ऑफ टाइम वी कैन नॉट वि ड्रा इट ऑन डिमांड इफ वी वि ड्रा इट द बैंक विल रिड्यूस द इंटरेस्ट और चार्ज पेनल्टी मिनिमम अमाउंट फॉर ए एफ डी आई अकाउंट इज जनरली रुपीज वन थाउजेंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग इफ यू लाइक अवर कोर्स प्लीज टेक समाइम टू गिव ए स्टार रेटिंग टू अवर कोर्स